Hello, Internet friends. Welcome back once again. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I've got a little bit to talk about today. I really want to get into the topic of focus and keeping yours despite distractions, but I also want to start off by apologizing for the lack of uploads that I've had this week. Uh, been quite a lot of busy stuff going on in my own life and a lot of really crazy things happening in the world and uh, I've just had a lot going on so a few of the things at least on my end have been really good I was able to celebrate my two-year anniversary with my girlfriend Jess and uh, very thankful and happy and appreciative to have uh, such an awesome amazing person in my life who supports me as fiercely as she does and it's always encouraging to to know that I've got her in my corner um, doing this thing that's a little bit crazy, but uh, also really is fulfilling in my own life. Uh, went through the process of adopting a new furry little child <laughs> named Chester. He's a cat that uh, we picked up. Jess found him wandering the streets, and he ended up growing on both of us pretty quickly. And uh, I'm not sure if I've ever met a cooler slash... Um, more contented and chill cat. So if you hear any purring or cooing in this uh, in this voiceover, it's because he's sitting with me right now as I'm doing it and just hanging out and chilling and loving life. So really excited to add him to my little family. And of course, all the things that are going on in the world uh, have a tendency to shock you back into perspective about how small some of your own little issues may end up being, at least for me. Uh, I was really thrown off in this workout, honestly, because you're seeing there's not a side angle view of this, and that's because one of my cameras just randomly stopped working, and so um, I lost a couple of uh, sets um, over the course of these two videos uh, to that faulty camera. I have now since then been able to get it working again, but it really did throw me off, and it's kind of crazy how something so little and something that's supposed to be a training tool can actually build up in your mind and become something that is a distraction and so I really want to encourage people today who if you're uh, to keep your perspective of what the important things are and what you're going through and what really constitutes a big deal and something that should shake you off from your focus uh, if you have something that you're working towards if you have something that you care about yeah, you wanna you wanna make sure that you're using all the tools available, but to to keep yourself, I guess, on track and in line. The the biggest thing for me is I really like to use my camera angles as a coaching tool for myself to make sure that I'm I call my lie detectors to make sure that I'm doing things correctly and that I can fix things quickly. Uh, but it's also really really tempting to kind of get into this mindset that you're only doing things for the camera and I used to run into that a lot with my training um, the fact that it threw me off as much as it did kind of bespeaks to uh, the idea that you know you just get frustrated about something and it's a little detail it's one set in your life it's one little grouping of activities that uh, didn't have this other angle on we are usually going to end up being the sum of all of our parts, not just one individual act, unless that act is incredibly huge, but for the most part that just makes up people's perception of us, that doesn't make us up as the people that we are becoming. So uh, something maybe to keep in mind as you're going through your day to day, uh, not to let the little things shake you off too hard, not to let the little things throw you off of your game and to remove your focus from where it needs to be, which is taking whatever it is that you're passionate about, whatever you care about, and really just working on that thing. And uh, in, specifically in terms of things like filming for sets and uh, camera issues, there's, there's this silly saying that if it's not on YouTube or if you didn't do it in, on video, then you didn't really do it. And that's, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of a cute little term, I guess. But at the same time, uh, just because you're not completely and totally encompassing every bit of your life on camera and sharing it with everyone else doesn't necessarily mean that your reality is false. <laughs> just just putting that out there. So anyway, uh, the workout itself you're going to see in that last session. Um, we were still in this portion of, uh, it's a testing slash not really testing, still a training week. Uh, you run into these things where you're either testing or you're training most of the time, but sometimes you are testing while you train. And for me, uh, that was kind of shown in the form of doing a couple of uh, plus sets at the end of some of my lifts, not any deadlift variants, but 
with my benching and my squatting. And it went pretty well uh, on that 515 set of squats that you saw. The third set uh, was supposed to be just for four, but I was able to tack on a nice solid extra two reps. And, uh, you know, I, I, had, I, <laughs> I could have kept going, but I had Eric in the back of my head telling me, like, then make sure these are plus sets, not AMRAPs. We don't want you to fail. We don't want you to go too hyphy. We don't want you to overreach. You're in a good spot right now. Just do the work. If you have a little bit left in the tank, you can do a little bit extra. But this is not go. High. This is not go ham. This is not try to kill yourself getting every last rep that you have in you. Definitely leave something in there. Uh, and we're gonna reset and keep moving forward. And I agree. I agree that uh, as frustrating as it might be in the moment to say, like, I really want to do more. I really want to have uh, this this look at me, look at me moment. It, it really does test your discipline and test your ability to say, uh, I'm looking at this long term goal. That is the priority. That is the thing that really matters. And again, in the context of all the things that we're doing, one individual performance setting is not the only measure of your success or failure. You have so many more things to do, and if you're able to take a step back and look at the bigger picture, uh, you will generally be able to make more intelligent, objective decisions about maybe what you should be doing, not necessarily what you want to do in that moment. Uh, so I was, I was frustrated for like a half second that I di that I didn't keep going with that set but at the same time it was I think what it needed to be and I'm very pleased with how this entire training block has gone and I'm really excited uh, to be resetting and starting that ramp up once again um, I do think it's really important to be honest with yourself and to take the opportunities that you have be uh, to to intelligently put on the brakes so that you set yourself up for bigger success in the future and not necessarily just running yourself into the ground all the time by adding more and more and more progress and progression and and growth is usually not a linear process and you have to hold that in your mind and keep your perspective clear that sometimes it's better to take three steps forward one step or two steps back uh, to allow you to get a little bit further in the future and keep you from getting frustrated and stuck and plateaued. Uh, one of the best ways to break a plateau or deal with a plateau is to avoid one altogether, and that's what we're doing after this week. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, I apologize for the delay. The next two will not be very delayed at all now that I have things settled down a little bit and am moving again on getting this stuff uh, up and together. Thank you all for watching. I really... Um, do appreciate the continued support more than I could ever express to you guys. Uh, I live a life that I am honored and privileged and happy to live, and a lot of that has to do with the incredible support system that I have around here. Um, don't need 100,000 subscribers to be happy with what you're doing in your life. So I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you very soon. Have a great night. Bye.